my scuba friends uh, inquired as to how I dried out my uh, scuba equipment and so I made this video for him. So I made this video uh, in order to show you the basic outlines of how to make what I call a scuba drying rack. And if it looks like a Rube Goldberg device, then it pretty surely is. Um, it's all made out of PVC, and I'll go in with the uh, view just in a moment to show you how it's all done. And it includes the number of features that I included when I did the first drying rack, maybe 12 years ago. This one's about 10 years old, and uh, let me just show you some of the features on it. I'm going to walk around the rack and show you what's done, and then I'll show you really kind of how it can be used. One of the first and most important features of this is to have a big enough base so that it's stable when you load it up with scuba equipment that may be quite heavy when it's wet. Um, you can design the uh, rack for any size. As you can see here, mine's about two and a half feet by about four and a half feet in terms of the base. You can make it any size you want to. Uh, if you're putting inside a uh, apartment or some smaller area of storage, you can make it whatever size you want to be. The knobs and raised areas are used for drying various things like booties, gloves, and other things that need to hang. And we'll show you how that works in just a minute. The top here can be solid wood or metal. I made mine out of PVC and I have these kind of support arms because other than that if you put a lot of uh, weight on the top it will tend to sag. This Rube Goldberg device is essentially just PVC going down to here where you have a inlet just through the PVC and a switch knob. This goes down through here this is a pool hose, pool cleaner hose that I got at Home Depot. And then I have a uh, very cheapo hair dryer that I got at Target. And what I've done is I've connected the hair dryer to a set of PVC pieces. It just has to be epoxied. It doesn't have to look very good. Just so it fits and then hooks onto the hose right here so that the hot air will flow through the hose, up through here, through this bit of the PVC, and through the holes here. And that's, work, that's so you can dry your booties out. You can make more holes here if, more holes here if you want to. Um, again, this is all my own creation. I've seen other people try and market this stuff, but you can make all of this stuff uh, with PVC and pretty much do it all yourself. Um, you just want to cut it out to whatever length you feel like. The waist stuff here, waist high stuff here, is again for hanging stuff. And the center rod here, the top rod, needs to be tall enough so that when you hang your wetsuit on it, um, it doesn't drag on the ground. Now, uh, give me just a moment and I'll show you so how all of this works. here can be used for gloves. They keep the glove open at the bottom so that it will dry out. If you have a vest or something along those lines, hanging it here, you want to make sure that it's the center bar is high enough so it doesn't drag on the ground. These posts can be for fins. These fittings, and this is actually melted a little bit because of the heat. You put booties here, again keeps them open at the bottom. You turn the uh, hair dryer on, the hot air flows out through the boots and then down out here so that eventually you're getting dry air all the way down into the toe of the boot. The waist high rack can hold BCs. Again, you build it solid enough. your wetsuit here, put the arms out here so that they don't collapse. Again, it wants to be tall enough so that the bottom of the wetsuit doesn't drag on the ground. You can hang scuba lights or similar equipment on these just to let the air get at them. And then 
regulators and stuff can just get laid on the top, hanging down like that. Hoods can go on these posts here. Even your regulator bag, just hang that on the top right there. Again, it keeps it open so there's enough of a gap to uh, let the. So air. that's really all that's involved with it. Uh, again, it's just mostly a case of getting the right size PVC. I use three quarter inch. You can use one inch. This is one inch right here. Again, you may want it wider to hold open things like uh, booties or gloves. Um, the more you have, the more posts you have around the edges, the more spaces you have to hang things. Um, again, this waist high rack is supported by a total of six legs on mine. You could certainly build it with fewer legs if you want to. Anyway, I hope all of that's informative and uh, hopefully Vladimir that tells you how it all works.